The Right Care, Right at Home. Australia's premier in-home care provider. Local legends wanted. A bowls green is just up the road. Search bowls clubs near me. From the wide outdoors to the great indoors, this is Without Bias. Hello and welcome to another edition of Without Bias here on 1116 SEN, your home of sport. Val Febo here with you once more for Bowls Australia. A Bowls Green is right around the corner. Search Bowls Clubs near me. A big show coming up tonight because we're in Geelong for the Australian Schools Championships where uh, some players from schools all across the country and some of the best under-18 prospects, mind you, have come down to the City of Geelong Bowling Club to have a game of bowls and to have or a crack at one of the or an inaugural championship that Bowls Australia is running in conjunction with School Sport Australia. And Brett Hughes joins me on the line, club support manager here in New South Wales. Now, Brett, thank you for joining me on the show. You're here with me in Geelong. Uh, we're actually in different hotel rooms at the moment, but thank you very much for jumping on at this late hour and having a chat. But it was a great day this morning. How, how have you found it so far? Yeah, thanks a lot, Val. Uh, look, really happy happy to uh, to be here, mate. And yeah, what what a fantastic event! So uh, first time that um, we've been able to get this event uh, with more than uh, four states or territories uh, are playing. So uh, look to have uh, to have the the students here from New South Wales, Queensland, South Australia, Vic, and WA has just been a a, a a massive event, and yeah, just a great experience for the kids to be able to play for a national championship. So talk to us about what the event is about because it's been a long time in the making. So how have you as head of club support with a lot of the other club support managers at Bowls Australia gone about setting this tournament up? Yeah, Val, we've, um, it's been a little bit different from state to state, but uh, basically um, I've worked with uh, School Sport Australia now uh, for about eight months. So uh, very closely with, with Andrew Conley, um, who's the rep from School Sport uh, Victoria, and Michael Devine, uh, who is from New South Wales, but also the National Sports Advisor. So, uh, look, the, the School Sport Australia had been struggling to, to get uh, more than two states to be able to compete in this event, uh, which have been Queensland, uh, sorry, New South Wales and Victoria. Um, but we just worked and joined forces together, uh, along with the, the uh, rest of the uh, club support managers, um, to see if we can get a bit of interest in the other states as well. So uh, we've had Brett Herbert working with um, Bowls SA, uh, running some programs and getting some interest up in uh, South Australia. And then Troy Kinane in uh, WA uh, has been working with School Sport uh, WA as well. So we've had some little pilot programs going around and um, from there we've been able to grow the interest to be able to get them to a, a national final. Uh, and in Queensland, um, School Sport Queensland endorsed Bowls Queensland uh, to be able to uh, assist with, with putting a team together. So uh, Brett Wilkie, the uh, CEO in, at Bowls Queensland, and also uh, Billy Cornell, who's just come on um, around their sport as well, uh, has been instrumental in uh, being able to get some competitions and some programs going to be able to get a team from Queensland as well. So... Um, New South Wales and Victoria already had a, a good footprint um, through CHS uh, in New South Wales and also with School Sport SA and Bowls Victoria. They've been doing a fantastic job down there. So, yeah, first time we've been able to, to get over the four um, sides, which uh, it's now recognised as a, as a true national championship. So, uh, you know, absolutely fantastic for the for the kids playing the sport. We had some brilliant matches today, live streamed, of course, on Bowls Australia's YouTube channel. And you can check out tomorrow morning from 9am. We've got four sessions, and that's all Australian Eastern Standard Time. We've got Western Australia versus South Australia, New South Wales versus Victoria, Victoria versus Queensland, and New South Wales versus Queensland. They're the four matches tomorrow on uh, Bowls Australia's YouTube channel. And all at the City of Geelong Bowls Club, Cyril, why did we, why did we go to the City of Geelong? Yeah, so basically it's been taken in turns over the past couple of years, um, obviously between New South Wales, uh, Victoria, and then Queensland has been been in and out. So we'd like to, to try and spread it around to, to each of the states. Um, this year it was Victoria's turn to host it. Um, and they're looking for a facility uh, that'd be able to provide a great atmosphere and um, 
you know, somewhere that uh, we'd be able to hold a national championship. So, yeah, sure enough, Andrew spoke to uh, Lee at uh, City of Geelong. And, um, you know, it's a fantastic facility here. Uh, you know, you've only got to look at the club and we've experienced it today, Val. Uh, the people are so friendly. We've got a great uh, undercover green and an outside green as well. So, you know, an absolutely brilliant facility, um, you know, especially with uh, some of the weather that's around. So um, uh, it's just a, it's a fantastic facility to be able to host an event like this. They're, they've been pretty popular in hosting a number of events uh, the City of Geelong. Yeah, it absolutely is fantastic. And a shout out to the City of Geelong Bowling Club for how well or how well they've done and how accommodating they've been for this event. Now, we've had some really big names come to this tournament, uh, Brett. We've had Reese Finn Young, Chanel Chakooch, uh, Jasmine Smith, Riley Garrick, um, and Callum Alberti as well. There's been some massive names. Are you surprised with just how competitive this field is? Oh, no. I knew, uh, look, I, I knew it would be... Uh... I knew it would be competitive, and there are some, you know, some massive names. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident there's a there's a couple of future jackaroos uh, amongst these uh, these kids playing out there today. Um, no, I'm, I'm not at all. When you look at the the names that are playing, the one thing that has stood out to to me, um, Val, is how much some of the kids have come along. So, um, some of these kids have got a really good background in bowls and they're well supported uh, by their clubs. Um, but, you know, how good have the kids been from, from WA and SA and a lot of them, you know, just starting in their first year of bowls or they're in their second year of bowls and, um, you know, they're getting to play against kids their own age and a great talent. And, geez, they've been really competitive. Uh, they haven't let their schools down. Um, and you know their state down, so and great to see the camaraderie between the kids. You know, it doesn't matter what ability they are, they all get on along very well. It's sensational, and this new crop of bowlers that are coming through, they all just look the goods, and it, it really is good to see. But Brett, how important is it? to get people into the sport so young because we've got that stereotype that we are trying to buck. You know, this is a sport for all ages and you see the competitiveness, the camaraderie, as you mentioned, but not to mention the quality of the bowls that we've seen. This is not just a pers- a, a sport for people that have retired. This is a sport for all ages and this National Schools Championships is absolutely flourishing. Oh, look, it, it is. You see the numbers now um, with, with kids playing the sport. It's, you know, we're getting record numbers. Um, look, how important is it? I think every day I play bowls, uh, Val, I, I get some play against someone that said, geez, I wish I had a start of this when I was younger. Yep. Um, you know, everyone says that. But, uh, you know, it is important. And, you know, look, especially when you look at other sports and, and, and we're looking at things like head knocks and concussions, um, you know, bowls is a great pathway. Uh, you know, you can end up uh, playing uh, in the Australian side as a jackaroo. So... Um, you know, it, it, it's a sense of uh, belonging, the, the, it's health and well-being, it's about uh, mixing with different kids. So, yeah, it's massively important in our sport, um, you know, that we cater for every group, but uh, definitely for these kids, you know, there's a good pathway, um, you know, through your, your rookie rollers and into into your high schools now. There's a, it's a high school competition now in, in, in every state, so... Um, yeah, no reason why, why kids can't get out there and play. And yeah, it's a fantastic sport. It really is. And it, it's just, it's wonderful to see all of this come to fruition. What, what are your hopes for the future of this competition? Yeah, it, it, Val, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because look, we are meeting uh, the key working party group. Uh, we'll be meeting um, Thursday uh, evening and uh, looking at, at next year's competition. Um, we, we have been advised by... Uh, well, I feel Reeves, the CEO of School Sport Australia, that the bowls is now in the mix for the All School Championship, which was never on the radar before. Wow. So we're, get, we're getting some, some, yeah, some really good uh, ticks and, and comments about how we've gone about this event. Um, but uh, look, the next step too is also to, to open it up and hopefully, you know, maybe get uh, Tazzy ACT and, and NT involved in it. Um, but also, we're looking at the all abilities. So a very important part of it, and um, that's one thing that I know that's on the agenda is to talk about the all abilities and, and, and getting this added to, to our program for next year as well. 
That is absolutely sensational. And as I mentioned before, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, Australian Eastern Standard Time. That's when the live streaming starts on Bowls Australia's YouTube channel, as well as Friday morning as well, when the finals will be on. There's two sessions on Friday, four tomorrow morning. Very much looking forward to this. Brett uh, Brett Hughes, thank you so much for joining me on the show tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting about the National Schools Championships. You've done an amazing job, my friend, and I'm looking forward to seeing the fruits of your labour come into it next year and beyond. Yeah, no, thanks, Val. Can't wait for the finals and uh, to see the All-Australian team picked and um, the smiles on the kids' faces as they get their medals. Brett Hughes, Head of Club Support and Club Support Manager of New South Wales, joining me on the show. That was an absolute pleasure. And the National Schools Championships, as I said, continues tomorrow morning. Plenty more still to come on with our bias right here on 1116 SEM because one of my good friends, Lachlan Williams, is going to join me on the show. The right care, right at home. Australia's premier in-home care provider. Local legends wanted. A Bowls Green is just up the road. Search Bowls Clubs near me. From the wide outdoors to the great indoors. This is Without Bias. You're listening to Without Bias here on 1116 SEN, your home of sport. Val Febo with you and a big thank you to Brett Hughes for joining me in the last segment to chat about the National Schools Championships here in Geelong. Now, Lachlan Williams, he's made the trip over to my hotel room where I've got everything set up here, ready to go. And lock. it's a big week. You're my, you've been my colleague for three and a half years and I had to overindulge here because this is a celebration of your bowling life or life at Bowls <laughs> Australia. You're leaving us this week. Congratulations on the new role, but we're going to miss you dearly. And I thought, what an occasion to get you on without bias for the first time. Thank you for joining me. How are you? No, going well. Thank you, Val. Yeah, thanks for, for having me. Yeah, I feel a little, little bit uncomfortable being uh, you know, on, a, on a show that's had such prestigious guests over many, many years. But um, yeah, great to be here with you. I had to get you on once. It had to happen. You've been on the right line, our podcast, many times, but I had to get you on before you head off into the sunset here and your bowls career finishes up. But um, congratulations on the new position. Uh, whereabouts is it before we get into some fun stuff? Uh, yeah, so finishing up at, at BA after five years and uh, taking a new role with uh, Hobson's Bay City Council in a, as, a, as a senior media advisor. So, um, yeah, looking forward to, to the new opportunity and the, and the challenges. But, um, yeah, I've absolutely loved my time with, with Bowls Australia and in the bowls community. It has been a lot of fun. We've spent a hell of a lot of time together, whether that's travelling on the road or we sit maybe two metres away from each other in the office. And there's a lot of inside jokes that nobody would probably understand between us and the amount of stepbrothers that we've quoted is probably enough to repeat the movie. But um, what has been the biggest highlight for you across five years? There's been so many that you've seen, including AOs, World Championships, Com Games, but what's been the highlight for you? Yeah, look, I've been pretty lucky to to have been to many different events and and seen sort of all angles of bowls. You know, whether that's um, you know, rookie rollers programs at school, mm. seeing youngsters have their first crack at bowls, or um, you know, going to Jack Attack and seeing people enjoying themselves, having a couple of drinks, and you know, right through to the other end of it, like you mentioned. Um, you know, I've been to probably eight or nine or ten bowls Premier League, sort of lose lose track. Um, you know, Australian Opens and. Um, you know, fortunate last year we were on the Gold Coast for the World Championships, which we were pretty heavily involved in, which will be a, sort of a, a career highlight of mine. But um, from a sport fan point of view, I think you can't go past the the 2022 Commonwealth Games, and um, you know, being ringside along with yourself and um, a lot of other Australian fans and um, the high performance staff, that was that was pretty special to to be there and, and witness uh, not just one but three gold medals. And I think the highlight of that. We've probably spoken about it a lot before, but you know the Alan Ryan and Christina Christic uh, pairs final, and you know going to an extra end in the last bowl with Alan Ryan that was that was pretty special. Not even uh, just as a, a, a bowls fan, but a sport fan in general. It's um, you know that's a moment that will live long in in my memory and hopefully uh, the memory of, of many that were there and watched it on TV at home. Yeah, it was that was brilliant. I think my handprint is probably still ingrained <laughs> in your arm from how stressed I was watching that. And it's different though, because you're involved with these people personally as well. So it's not just you're supporting them because they're from the same country, which we normally do when we're watching the Olympics or Com Games. You know, we know these people and we know the hardships they've gone through. We know their narratives and you want them to succeed. So how much more nerve wracking does that make it? 
Yeah, you you sort of ride all the bumps. I mean, that week um, there were some not so great results that had fallen for some other teams, and you know we'd gone into the Commonwealth Games with such a dominant women's triples and fours team, and they didn't quite live up to maybe the expectation of what they were hoping. So um, there was a little bit of disappointment from that, which um, you really feel for those players, and you know the likes of Beck Van Ash and. Um, and Lindsay Clark probably you know, it was their last Commonwealth game, so um, you really feel for them. And then, um, so you're feeling that one day, and then that you ride the, the highs of the emotion the next day of um, you know the, the success that we we witnessed. So um, yeah, it was really special to to be there, and um, you know, definitely had no part of, of their success, but to, to witness it and try and convey their story back to to people back in Australia was yeah it was pretty special. Yeah, it was an amazing fortnight, and it's one that I'll never forget either and yeah it was brilliant to share that with you but aside from that and the matches that we saw over there what's the best example of bowls that you've seen since being at BA there was obviously a lot pre-Val pre-me starting (laughs) but there's also been a hell of a lot since 2021 and when events ramped back up again in 2022. Yeah, I mean, I've been fortunate to see the the best of the best go at it, you know, from the the Australian contingent all the way through to internationally. Um, Probably one game that stands out, and it's a a bit of a a funny one, but um, it was either the 2021 or 22 national championships. There was a men's pairs final, um, Aaron Sheriff and and Sean Ingham against, uh, I think it was Cooper Westcombe and, and Jared Davies. Um, and that was yeah just an outstanding display of bowls and um and lucky enough to to see sheriff who you know once he finishes his, his career he'll certainly put his name into the the mix for the greatest of all time um but to see him do that at his peak probably oh, it must have been twenty twenty two because he won absolutely everything that year um to to see him go about it at, at that level and to be pushed by two young victorians in in Jared and cooper and um and there was plenty of parochial fans on the sidelines um, for, for both sides. It was yeah, that that was a high quality game, and um, to to see a guy like Sheriff when he gets tested and pushed, the, this this resolve comes onto his face, and um, when when he gets that look in his eye, it's it's like watching a, a, a great um, other sportsman from other sports. You know, you, you watch like a, um, a Paddy Cripps, for example, for yeah. Carlton, just puts his team up on his back and says, we're not losing this. And that was sort of the look of Sheriff that yeah. night. Um, and he's done it plenty of other times as well. But that night, they were down and out halfway through that game and he just said, no, nah, we're not losing this. And that was pretty special to watch. That was unbelievable. I remember, yeah, you and Clive Adams were on commentary for that. And Clive has often said that's one of the best matches that he's ever called. And you're right, there were some parochial fans on the uh, on the sidelines. It was a great night at Broad Beach there for the, I think it was the 2021 Australian Championships, but in 22 because yep. of the of the uh, COVID lockdowns, which we've lived through. Probably the most bizarre event that we've done was the 2020 Australian Championships when we got to Thursday morning and we got told to pack our bags and, and go home and into a lockdown. Yeah, there's all moments like that that, uh, you know, you'll, you'll look back on and they sort of mark milestones in your life of where were you when, you know, you went into lockdown and whatever. And, yeah, we were at Club Dandenong when... Yep. Uh, <laughs> when we were told, well, there's a lockdown coming in a couple of hours, go home and, and don't come back. So, um, yeah, that was fascinating. We played about three quarters of a, a singles game, or sorry, a mixed pairs game. Yeah. And then um, towards the end of that match, we're thinking, oh, this is a bit funny. I think we're, we're not going to be able to finish this competition and we could barely finish the game. We finished that match and everyone packed up and away we went. It was bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. Now, one last one. What has bowls taught you there's it's been a long long time here and you there's there's a lot that you can learn from this sport and from the athletes and everything along those lines so what what has bowls taught you uh, probably probably two things so I, I guess from a professional capacity a uh, bit of resilience and a bit of uh, problem solving now you know um, I've been lucky enough to work pretty heavily in our live streaming and um, it's caused plenty of um, challenges at times and a few headaches, but I've absolutely loved it. And um, from a professional capacity, um, just the, the innov- innovativeness and um, you know, ability to work around things has been fantastic. And then from a, I guess, a, um, a personal perspective to the, just a reinforcement of community in sport. And um, you know, it's something that 
I will continue to be passionate about, um, you know, whether I continue to, to be involved in sport moving forward in the future, who knows, but um, you know, I'll always have that passion for, for community sport and um, to see how, how passionate people are at grassroots level all the way through to the top. Um, it's, it's been just uh, something I've loved to, to see that reinforced of how, how much people love what they do, um, you know, whether that's heading out on a Tuesday night and, and chucking a couple of bowls down or um, you know, going all the way to the Gold Coast and uh, running their best at the Australian Open. That's um, yeah, something I really cherish. Fantastic. And Locke, I know you will be no stranger to bowls, but everything that you've done for BA, thank you. Your work ethic is unparalleled. I don't think I've seen anything quite like it. How you've developed a ringside live, I know every single viewer of that product will be thanking you because you have made it one of the best products in national sport. It is absolutely sensational. The innovation that you've done has been amazing. So thank you for everything. It's been an absolute pleasure over the last three and a half years to call you a colleague, but now most of all a friend. And I'm looking forward to catching up in, in the near future and uh, and celebrating your success elsewhere. Oh, thanks, mate. It means a lot. And yeah, like you said, I won't be lost to the bowls world. Uh, maybe I'll have to get up to the Gold Coast for the Australian Open next year, this time with a bowl in hand. Who knows? Exactly. We'll make sure we stream you, Lock. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, mate. Oh, it's a sad day. Lachlan Williams is about to leave us at Bowls Australia, and uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to recover, but I will try. That's about all we've got time for on Without Bias this evening. A big thank you to Locke and to Brett Hughes for joining me. Remember, tomorrow morning, 9am Australian Eastern Standard Time, head to BA's YouTube channel for the National Schools Championship Day 2. Very much looking forward to that. And, of course, Bowls Australia's social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn, and YouTube as well as subscribing to The Right Line, Bowls Australia's official podcast, and head to bowls.com.au for any other news you may want about the sport. We'll catch you next week here on Without Bias. Very much looking forward to it. From me, Val Febo, have a great night.